All right, everybody, this is Bobby Lee from Hurricane Creek Farms. Here today to do a quick uh, little product review with you. Not something we do very often, but we're gonna try out a new product and thought why not video it and give a review and see how it works. So basically what we've got, we have a, a nose ring calf weaning device that we're gonna try out. I've actually used this particular one in the past. You can see name brand, Quiet Wean. Had not had a lot of luck with this one. Uh, basically the calves we had tried it on had gotten them out um, in less than 24 hours. So never really had a chance for it to work. You can see there, there's really not any way to to adjust it. It just basically you know, fits right in the nose. With this particular product, you can use the wing nut there to tighten or loosen it as necessary. And so I'm hoping just with it staying in place will work much better. But we're gonna see, we're gonna give it a try. Um, I've, I've also heard people using this particular one that the calves would just simply figure out, even if it stayed in place, they could flip it up and still nurse, or could turn their head sideways and still figure out a way around it. Um, you know, as the saying goes, if there's a will, there's a way. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna get this one fitted on this guy over here, see how it works. This is actually a bottle calf we had um, raised. He, he was born back in January. We had then grafted him on to our nurse cow, our Jersey. But she now has a couple other calves on her. It's past time for him to be weaned. He's been really stubborn we physically separated him from her and he keeps figuring out a way to get back in the pasture with her so thought why not give this a try see if we can make that work where even if he does get back with her he shouldn't be able to nurse all right so i've backed off on that wing nut there where it has a little more give we can easily slip it on his nose then we'll tighten it down try to get it to the uh, appropriate tightness and uh kind of go from there so. Actually went on quite easily. Now I'm gonna just tighten it down a bit because it is very, very loose. What I understand, you want it to be tight enough, of course without being too tight, you still want it to be able to move freely pretty easily. Let me back off just a little bit there. That still moves. All right, so we've got that in place. You can see it right there. Everything looks pretty good. Not not too tight at all not too loose uh, hopefully he can't get it out what i'm gonna do is just watch him over these next well couple hours to even few days um give you an update on it before we publish this video see how it does and can kind of give you an honest review but hopefully uh, and the other idea behind just we're using it with this guy because he's been difficult and we haven't been able to otherwise totally get him off that cow but it can be a, a low stress way of weaning. So the calves are still with their mother, they're right there with them, but you are keeping them from nursing, kind of breaking that bond so that whenever you do actually go to physically separate them, it's not quite as traumatic um, and as much of a shock to their system. But anyway, we'll see how it works. All right, so now we're gonna fast forward about, uh, I guess what, three days since we put that, that plastic weaner in his nose. You can see he's still wearing it, no problem. Um, staying perfectly in place. So the problem I'd had with those others, the quiet wing, doesn't look like it's gonna be as big of an issue with these. Um, he did make his way back out here with the cow herd. So that's my next project to figure out where he's getting out now. But um, of course, not really gonna have a demonstration of him trying to nurse because um, he's already been unsuccessful. I'm not gonna try that again. Uh, but anyway, I would I would give this um, stamp of approval. The uh, it, it seems to be doing exactly what it's designed for. It's not going to take the place of like our full traditional weaning program, but in kind of unique situations like this, it can be helpful. These um, just in terms of anybody that might be interested, in them, there's no name or anything or even a product number stamped on it anywhere. They're sold through our local co-op co um, just under the product uh, name of a plastic calf weaner. Uh, you can find them online as well. I um, saw them, uh, you know, there just in a quick internet search. There are a few retailers. They're about three or four dollars a piece. Um, and I think, you know, in, in certain situations, they can really work. But hope you found this useful. Uh, again, hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll do some more videos like this. Um, of course, our typical videos are purely for entertainment purposes. But anyway, thanks for watching.